until relatively modern times. Right? Um, the idea of going out on May Day occurred not only to chimney sweeps, um, just like Jack and the Green, but all total milkmaids. Now, one of the things about urban that life is that, in fact, you've got milk, but only because the dairies were actually based in the towns and people milked them and took the milk around in churn, carried them on yokes across their shoulders. And on May Day, the women went out with a garland, which in these days was not a flower garland like the children is, but could be a heap of um, silver things, things that were shiny anyhow, and so on, either carried on somebody's head, or if you had enough, carried on a, um, a tray, and so on. And they danced jigs, basically, or two, three or four hand rips, and that sort of thing. It's just expecting largesse. Um, bearing in mind that good luck visiting, the people who come to see you are bringing you good luck. And that's what you pay them for, the good luck. Right? It's the rising middle class in Victorian times who didn't actually see the point of it, who stopped giving people money. And Morris dancers, some of the Morris dancers that Sharp met, said it got like begging. You know, it wasn't sort of uh, um, an exchange between equals on the day. It got something really, you go along um, pulling your forelock and things like that, and they, they couldn't actually cope with it. They mentally didn't want to do it. Um, again, it's one of those things that life changed. In fact, when I say life changed, to me, uh, the 1944 Education, Butler's 1944 Education Act, which invented the 11 plus. Um, I was one of the fortunate people, I was in the first year of the 11 plus examination, 1944. Um, therefore, one of the first of that generation at grammar school. Um, we've had 50 years now of extracting people of some talent into uh, secondary education and so on. And as that cohort of people, the cohorts, went through um, further education, university and so on, these are the people, to my mind, because the ones I met anyhow, who were aware of their roots and could do something about it. And the great growth of moral sides in the late 60s and early 70s and the growth of women's sides in the 70s and the 80s was really based on those people. Um, those of the women who went to Bath University um, generated scores of sides as they scattered themselves across the countryside and so on. Um, that period's gone. You know, moral sides on the whole are mature. Sides have been dance, have dancers have danced for 30 years now, um, both men and women's side. It's a different, different situation and so on. Um, and that's why the future of the Morris is an interesting discussion point for tomorrow. Now, that's the end of talking this morning. Um, we've got a session for an hour and a half on Adderbury. Um, it will come as a surprise to some of you. Adderbury is normally nowadays the initial teaching um, tradition. It used to be Headington, but Headington, when they revived, um, they complained. They said, a lot of other dancers that do. Why on earth do you learn Headington to start with? And I haven't met a side that does Headington for many years now. Um, so it's Adderbury. Unfortunately, when you're taught Adderbury to start with, you don't do it very well, and nobody bothers to reteach it to you to get it right. So it's always a crummy tradition done on, the, on your heels, no banks, no nothing or other. We're going to try and cure that now. Right, so put your chairs back. Before you move, can I just have a, a quick straw poll? How many people think they will be sticking around long enough to go for a beer or whatever for a while down at the pub tomorrow? Forget about food for the minute. Reasonable number of people. How many people think they might eat down at the pub tomorrow? Roughly. So what I imagine so, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, twenty-six. So about like fifteen, twenty people maybe. Okay, brilliant. That's, that's the new age, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Is yeah. there a bus oh. stop close to it? Pardon? Is there a bus stop there? It's yeah, it's a walk across the fields. How long? <coughs> Five, ten minutes? Five minutes? Yeah. Um, if you can have
help us by dumping all your cuts back on the counter as well, while you're finding what you need for those. <laughs> 